Hey guys, it's uh, Shan or Shan Damon here. Uh, I wanted to make this guide on how to make a weekly slash daily checklist to do checklist on uh, Binark or Binark or I have no idea how to pronounce it. But anyways, uh, I'm here to show you how to use this website, uh, at least the to do list part and uh, maybe some other features. So when you open up this website for the first time, you'll probably be seeing what I'm seeing right now. Uh, just a bunch of Korean and uh, language you can't understand. Uh, first thing you're going to do when you go on this website is go over here to the little settings logo. So I have a gear logo and select your language English and the server you're on. Uh, from the time I am making this video, I am playing on the Russian version. After that, you want to go to your expedition in the top left, uh, character, and you want to add in a character. So I have a character named Shan Damon, it's my main, uh, as a Lance Master add. And then uh, you don't have to do this, but if you want to include a uh, your level or your item level on your table then by all means go ahead uh, I'll include them here just for example so my mains is uh, my main is 1345 and she is level 54 I think I have to double check that you can select color let's just go with light blue and I'm just gonna add two more alts of mine so I've added my alts and my main uh, with a level and the eye level. These two aren't uh, the exact eye levels, but I just kept them at these values as an example. So after that, you're going to want to go to To Do. First thing you're going to want to do is click the plus logo here to make a new table. Uh, you can uh, select the table color, the column color, the row color. I'm just going to leave it blank for now. So let's just say we're going to make a dailies first. So dailies will be first, and then in here you can add a column or a row. So column, you wanna, this is normally where I put my characters. You can obviously put them on the rows instead, but just for this video, I'll put them on the column. Uh, so my main, out of here. We'll add uh, all my characters here real quickly. Okay, and uh, you'll notice how it looks, uh, they're overlap, they're not overlapping each other, but they're getting cut off. What you can do is you can increase it to three here or higher if you need more and play around with the settings a little there. Now they're all spaced out. So the first daily you do normally, uh, let's just say you do chaos dungeon first. So you want to do chaos dungeon. Uh, you can give it a logo if you want. I'm just going to give it a logo, the chaos dungeon logo. It is a daily. And you can select a color for them if you want. I'm not gonna. Uh, you can also give it a checkbox, a text, a counter, or just a character. Uh, checkbox would make more sense. So here's a Chaos Dungeon. You have one for each character. It's set to daily. Now the cool thing is this website automatically refreshes dailies and weeklies. So let's just say I did both my dailies or all my dailies. On each character I don't have to go back to uncheck them it'll do that for me at the server reset time based on the server you selected uh, you probably notice that chaos dungeon is cut off if you want to fix that uh, you can do it before you create the table or after uh, I'll show you how to do it after right click dailies and you'll get options here you can increase the size of uh, the row headers the column width. I'm just gonna do them all. There you go. Now the rows have more space so I can put more text in them and they won't get cut off. Makes it look neat. Next one you're gonna do is Epona. Epona journals. Uh, here's the daily Epona logo. It is a daily and there you go. It's as simple as that really. It's not hard setting up a basic table. You already have two of your dailies here. You can add guardians just below that. Um, I'm going to be going over a few other dailies and features as well. So if you right click a cell, so I'm just going to create a new one. This will be a test cell just so I can show you. 
Um, if you right click a cell, you can select what kind of cell it is. So a checkbox. So a checkbox is just, you know, check, empty. Some cells, if you, depending on what you give them, if you alt click them, if you alt and left click, uh, it should show a, uh, it'll do the other option, uh, a minus sign there. You can use that to show uh, if you're not going to do it or you're skipping it or whatever. That's just a basic example. Uh, other features is you can actually uh, right click it. So if you right click the cell again, you can go to the skip tab. This will let you skip until today, uh, the weekly reset, and if you uh, modify it, then boom, it'll show a pause symbol until the date. You can also select your own custom date. You can just skip it until however long you want. The next one is text. You can put text here. Uh, you can put whatever you want. You can put hello. That's just an example. Uh, if you put uh, blank text, it'll become empty. Keep this in mind. We'll use this feature later. You can put a counter here. So the counter value is zero. Uh, you're going to have to edit that yourself. The maximum the counter can go and the minimum, the lowest it can go. So I'm not sure what these two are. I'm guessing this is the default of the counter if you set it to a daily or I'm not 100% sure. I don't ever use them. An example you can use counters is uh, let's just say 99. Uh, you can use them to keep track of uh, cube tickets if you want. So for example, let's just do cube tickets. We'll set a counter. What you can do uh, to edit the values is, is you left click it now it's highlighted you can use the scroll wheel while hovering over it to change the values and then when you unleft click it it'll stay it there you can use this to count cube tickets uh, path tickets crafting tickets well whatever you need whatever you need to keep track of the next one is character uh, you can select a character and you can choose a uh, you can choose a property of theirs. So you can choose their name, you can choose their logo to show on the table, you can choose their class ID, which is a Lance Master, you can choose to show their level, or you can choose to show their item level. Next one is Adventure Island. So this one, uh, if you add a row, Adventure Island, you're only going to be doing on one character. So what you can do is you can use the text option and leave it blank and just modify it. And now there's nothing there. If you click it, you can add something, but I usually don't touch it. So same thing here. You can do that. And now if you're done Adventure Island, both of them or one of them, or if it's done for the day, you can just check mark it. Uh, another thing you can do is there is an Adventure Island tab here. So meaning you can uh, modify it and it'll show you the best rewards for each one if you don't want it showing the same one twice because there are like multiple adventure islands per day um you can use this to reorder whichever one it's going to show first the way this works is it usually shows whatever the reward at the highest is so because both of these have silver at top, it's going to show silver. There are no gold islands available this week from the time I'm making this video. So what I like to do is I like to keep one gold. Let's just say I make uh, silver go down here. And I like to keep the rest the same. So gold, material, fragment, auxiliary material, and silver. What I like to do... For the next one is I like to make it backwards and like this you can get them to show different things most of the time that way it'll just show whatever is available um, you can add another adventure island here if you want uh, sometimes there are three uh, I usually keep it at two uh, another thing you might run into is if you see an uh, like the loading symbol here um, yeah, it, this thing is kind of uh, not very, uh, oftentimes it'll be loading forever for me and I usually just choose to ignore it. This is actually one of the rare times it's showed up for me, so thankfully for this video I got lucky. Uh, if you click them, it'll show you 
when it is, a countdown to when it is, a, the minimum level requirement, and the rewards. Next one is a icon. You can just straight up put any icon you want here. You can put a no sign here. That's what I like to do mostly. That way it shows that you cannot do this. And finally, rest bonus. So rest bonus it applies in Chaos Dungeon, Eponas, and Guardian Raids. So I'm just going to add a Guardian Raid rope. Basically, uh, it's to show that you've done multiple runs and it also keeps track of your, uh, your rest bonus. So for example, let's just say you're doing Guardian Raids, right? Uh, we'll keep the threshold zero. I'll explain this later. Let's just say you have a bonus of 40. 40 and you can only do Guardian Raids twice a day. So now what this means is when I hover over it, you should be able to see bonus 40. And let's just say I'm already, I'm in the middle of doing my Guardian Raids and I just killed one. You can just click this and it'll show one. If I've done it again, you can just click it again, two. Uh, bonus is calculated on this table uh, at daily reset, meaning if I've only done one, my bonus at daily reset will be 50 tomorrow. And if I've done none, it'll be 60. So speaking of bonus, the threshold. So what this means is it says it here. If the bonus is less than the threshold, you skip. What this means is that some people who don't like, let's just say, for example, do guardian raids daily, they can uh, show that on the table. So let's just say you only do guardian raids if you have at least two rest bonuses, but you don't have a 40 rest bonus. Let's just say you have 20. It will show on the, the table a pause symbol. So it'll automatically just tell you when you can do it. Granted that you put the right bonus in. And I'm just going to quickly apply this to all the rows here. Okay, so what I've done is I've added a rest bonus to all the Chaos Dungeons, Eponas, and Guardian Raids. So just remember that when you're adding a rest bonus feature to each cell in the Eponas, you make sure it's three because you can do three Eponas per day. And uh, I think that's about almost all the dailies I can think of, unless I'm missing some. But uh, the point is to show you how to use all this. So now I'm just going to make a quick weeklies table example. Let's just say that every week you do your your Epona weeklies. You can use the checkbox to show that you've done all three or you can use the rest bonus. The rest bonus is the only one that can let you click a checkbox multiple times but Epona weeklies don't have a rest bonus exactly. So despite that, I still use this just for uh, the sole purpose of a check part or the checkbox multiple times. So let's add a void dungeon in or a abyss raid uh, weekly. Let's just do a void dungeon. So if you want to add specific void dungeons, let's just say you do great gates. What you can do is normally. I can do great gates on these two characters, but if you notice, 550 is not enough to do great gates. So you'd want to go to icon. This is what I do. You go to icons and you just set it to the block icon. And now it's not doing anything. Just to make it look neat and it doesn't, you know, it's easy to see. So if you notice, uh, there is a daily and weeklies tab, right? If you want to see everything on one page, you can select this little full screen button here it looks like a full screen button and it'll show all of them and if you go into if you press it again it'll show it by tabs so it's more of a preference thing I like to just show them all on one page because it's all right in front of me and I don't have to really navigate much so obviously there are a ton of more dailies and weeklies you can add I know of course I am missing a few you can customize your own table to your own liking um, I want to go over uh, importing and exporting. So that's here, the backup tab right here, the button. So let's say that you know you're going to switch computers or you're going to reset your browser history because that will just delete all this. You can back your entire setup by using a download file button and that way you can just select upload it later uh, when you've 
done your swap or reset your history. You can also just copy a code, paste that somewhere, and then just copy it back and click the paste button here, and it'll do the same thing. I personally like to just download a file. I think it's just a lot more safe. So here's currently my setup. It might look a little complicated, but it is my own personal setup. So I have my dailies here. I play on one main and four alts, uh, each with a gear score here. I have opponent dailies, guardians, chaos, guild support, venture island, affinity, and island of grief. On the weekly side, I have uh, opponent weeklies, abyss raids, uh, great gates, Aureus hearts, Aureus heart, sorry, heroic raids, PvP coin exchange, pirate coin exchange, and trials of abyss. And I also have another table. It isn't that don't fall under dailies and weeklies, but I like to keep track of them. So for example, Peyton's storyline, Papunika's storyline, uh, if I've done towers on each person, uh, cube tickets, uh, path tickets, and crafting tickets. You can, however, add your own elements. This, these are just things I feel I need to keep track of. Everything else that I missed, I probably already am keeping track of, or I am just lazy. But yeah, uh, I'll include a download link or a, the code to this. You guys can just take this. You just got to go into the expedition and character here and change all the characters and then just change up the table uh, to your liking. But anyways, uh, hopefully this gets uh, people started. Also, uh, I do stream on Twitch every now and then on weekdays, mainly weekdays and sometimes weekends. Uh, feel free to check me out. I do all sorts of stuff like uh, the PvE and PvP. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later.